I'll come downstairs and around the corner there'll just be these big glowing eyes. His shoulders are up and he's ready. There's no escape. Turn around and it's just this little fluffy cloud behind you, trying to get your legs. You'll just like walk into a room and not know he's in there. And then his little arm will stick out and swipe at you from underneath the bed or underneath like a chair. And that literally scares me every single time. When Donut screams, it really feels like you're in a horror movie. Oh my god, that was a big one. Wait, listen. <laughs> when we started waking up from him screaming, we're like, we should probably take him to the vet and see if he's fine. decided to take him to the vet and it turns out he's deaf like if, if i just snap above him you can kind of tell donut which makes sense why he's so loud he can't hear himself we have no idea <laughs> It's not really changed much <laughs> with our relationship with him. Now we know how to cater to a deaf cat. So waking him up, you can't shout him. You've got to maybe just tap a little bit next to him so he can wake up and know it's dinner time. You have to be a little bit careful because it's so easy to scare him. Sometimes I think he thinks we're stalking him because he's deaf and he doesn't know we're coming up behind him. And he'll turn around and be like, whoa! He's like, all right, if you're going to stalk me, he's like, I'm after you. Game on. <laughs> that kind of made us understand his personality more and his love language more. <laughs> Even after the vet told us he was deaf, he still has so much energy. And we thought it'd probably be good to get some of that energy out. So we took him on walks. He loves walks. He's like a dog. He'll try and climb trees. It's, it's adorable. Inside the house, we try and do like little games or we've gotten like fake little fishies and he'll play with those in the bathtub. Liam loves to cook for him which is really funny. He loves to watch Liam cook. <laughs> I've literally made him a cat room underneath our stairs like Harry Potter. He's literally the most spoiled cat in the world. But there's still some energy left over no matter what we do. <laughs> he will He's always... still stalking us. He's... Yeah. Stop it, Donut! You've naughty! It's hard to think about what it was like before we had Donut. Now it's we wake up to Donuts screaming, coming up, snuggling for like the whole morning. Sorry for cuddle time. It just makes the, you know, everyday positive.